Hey, how's it going, guys? Is Barrett back here? And, uh, oh, excuse me. We got ourselves a video. We got some mail. We got some work finds. Not very many of them. And we got a penny box. So we'll get into the mail first. This is from Jeff Silversmith. You guys got to check him out. He's got a cool channel. He does a lot of silver stacking. You've probably seen him in a lot of different uh, streams. He buys a lot of... A lot of half dollars uh yeah well on his streams he he does auctions he does coin roll hunting and uh he does duck fights you gotta check out the duck fights those are pretty cool and then he has his end of stream giveaways well i won one of his end of stream giveaways and what's cool about it is i won the first one which Usually, obviously, the later ones are better. I think it starts with quarters, and it goes Kennedy, Benji, Walker. Well, I got the quarter one, but I got a National Quarters uh, book. I do not do not have this one. So that is pretty cool. So um, looks like it only takes one mint mark. That's cool, though. It'll still be still be cool to try to fill up that's awesome all righty so we got that that is from 2010 to 2021 that's awesome all right then there's also some quarters in here let's see what we got here oh we got his new sticker too all right i don't think I... oh and look it's autographed too jeff silversmith check it out <laughs> all right oh Nice. I didn't know that that's what I got. I got a barber and a standing Liberty quarter. Awesome. I did not know that. All right. Because I do not have a barber quarter. So that is awesome. That is a 1916. Cool. And, whoa, dropping it here, and we got a Standing Liberty quarter. Can we get a date there? Yep, 1926. All right, that is pretty cool, I must say. All right, I do have, I've got a couple. I think I found one at work, and then I, I won one from Coin Noob. Which, the one I won from Coin Noob was in really good shape. So that's cool, but I do not have a barber quarter, so that's awesome. All right, so we got that out of the way. So now let's pan down here to our weekly work finds, which as I told you in the past few weeks, guys, they've been pretty sparse. And I can't believe I actually found some Wheaties today. Um, but we do have a new guy at work and hopefully he gets put into the mix and I will be able to take a look a little closer. So let's start with the pennies. I, as usual, I did not look at the dates. I just see that there's a wheat there and let's check it out. All right, our first one is a 52D. And our second is a 55D. All righty, pretty cool. We got two nickels. We got a 1941. And that is going to be out of Philadelphia. There's a little damage there, but I don't think it's a mint mark. And we got a 54, which is an S. Pretty cool. And we ended up with one Canadian quarter and one dime. So not too bad. So let's uh, go ahead and bring you up here and we'll show you this nickel box we got to hunt. I did pop it open to make sure it was circulated. And I don't see no, no weedy enders. Uh, you know, it's got its fair share of shields and Lincoln scents, so who knows, right? We won't know till we get in there, so before we do, guys, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment, and let's get to it. Alrighty, guys, we're starting out pretty slow. We are on roll number 15, and there it is right there, guys, numero uno. We get our first one. What's it gonna be? Uh, it is a 44 
And I don't know if that's damage or if that is an S hiding there. It looks like damage. I'll check it out and find out for sure. Not that it matters. I mean, that's not a key date or anything. So, all right, that will do it, guys. We'll be back. Alrighty, guys, we're on roll 18, and it looks like that is number two. We've got a 1953D. All right, number two, we're almost, well, we still got a few rolls before we're halfway through, so we still got plenty of time. And in the last box, it uh, actually picked up at the end, so hopefully we'll do the same. I think in the last box, we had one weedy in the first 25, so we're ahead of that. All right, we'll be back. Well, guys, it's been a while since we hit a weedy, so I figured I'd bring you in on a nice little find. We got a 1962 Canadian, which is going to be a young head. That is pretty cool. All right, guys, that's it. We, uh, yeah, 33 rolls in. We've got those two weedies. Hopefully, we'll find something else coming on the stretch here. All right, we'll bring you back. All righty, guys, we're on roll number 40. And we're going to have a weedy a number three. There it is, right there. All right. Let's check her out. Let's see if we can get anything old. Doesn't look like it. 1941 Philadelphia. We will take it. That is weedy number three on the board. All right, guys. Ten rolls to go. We'll bring you back. Well, guys, let's wrap this video up. There's not much to wrap up. <laughs> that wasn't a very good box. Oh, well, you know, what do you do, right? Uh, we got some errors, some variety, some years to check. We'll check those out. Um, but let's wrap it up, guys. We got a 41 Philly, a 44 Philly, and a 53 Denver. We got 12 09s. There were some really nice ones. And I can't remember, I think we got about eight uh, Canadian, and we did get a 62 young head. So that was pretty cool. Uh, the weedy part, eh, not so good. But hey, good with the bad, right guys? So all I can tell you guys is tell the next one. See you then.